What's going on guys? Welcome to the final update, the final part of the flea market collection purchase where I bought all of the cards at the flea market. It was an epic, epic series of videos filled with tons and tons of crazy cards. Still blows my mind. Uh, I think this is what, like five videos in on this collection. I can't believe it stretched out this far because it really, it wasn't a crazy amount of cards, but there was a lot of good cards. So it took me longer to, to work my way through it. But as you can see, all the boxes are completely gone and we are ready to do the final update. So here we go, guys. Right here, I have compiled a bunch of piles like I normally do of some of the better cards, rookie cards, uh, cards that I find nostalgic. Um, some of the cards that you're going to see may not be the most valuable cards, but to me, uh, they bring back good memories or there are cards that I collected as a kid. Maybe, maybe they do the same for you. So I put them in here to showcase them to you guys, hoping that you enjoy it as much as I do. But first up, we have this right here, Griffey Baseball Lime Rock. This was pretty cool. I never, I, I mean, I've come across these cards before, but never in its actual uh, envelope that it came in. So there you go. You got the three Griffies. Very cool. Nice to have that come all together. Now, this is super cool because when I was a kid, I was huge Ninja Turtles fan. So to come across these 1989 Ninja Turtle sticker cards, this was cool. And they're super colorful. The Shredder, Splinter. I don't know if these have any value or not. They probably don't. They might. Turtle Power. But uh, I thought they were super cool to, to come across. So I wanted to showcase them for all my Ninja Turtle fans out there. So we got that nice pile of Ninja Turtle cards. Then the next pile is kind of like a mixed up. Doesn't really have a, a, a topic. But I found a bunch of these David Robinson rookie cards. Fleer 90. There's four and five. Right here, we have a Stat Smasher Emmett Smith wild card. Underneath there, we have an Absolute Football Aaron Rodgers. And then we have a bunch of these Fleer Metal cards, which you guys know I love the Fleer Metal cards. There's a Metalized Steve Smith. There's a John Stockton. Mitch Richmond. Underneath there, we have a Clarence Weatherspoon Fleer Metal. And we have some Fleer Metal baseball cards. Here's Olerud. Garcia Para, David Wells, Eric Davis, back into basketball. Then we have right here a Eternals Alex Rodriguez and an Eternals Ken Griffey Jr. Very cool cards. Underneath there we have a Cal Ripken Jr. Ionics Atomic card and a Bernie Williams. And lastly, a Greg Maddox. Right here, we have a Dunruss MVP Aaron Rodgers, which I thought was pretty cool. All right, let me get these piles together, and we'll continue on. All right, next pile we have here is just a few. Here's some vintage basketball. I know we found this card in a previous video. There's Rick Barry. Underneath there, this one too. So we have multiple now. Artist Gilmore. And I don't know if I found this one in a previous video. There's another Artist Gilmore. So there is some vintage basketball. Next up, pretty cool set. Remember collecting it as a kid. Top's Finest. Really cool to see some of them with the peel still on there. There's J.J. Stokes. Underneath we have Terrence Mathis. Then we have a rookie, Kerry Collins. We have a Junior Seau, and these are all from, from different years. Warren Sapp. We have a Topps Finest Moments, Phil Sims in the Super Bowl. Underneath there, we have Finest Moments, Kellen Winslow. 
Then we have Top's Finest, Curtis Martin. And last but not least, we have a Top's Finest, Brett Favre. Very, very cool to add to the collection. Like those cards, like Top's Finest in that like chrome, uh, Fleer Metal, those cards were iconic when I was growing up. Uh, here's a stack of Shaquille O'Neal cards. We found a lot of Shaq cards in this collection. It has a nice Skylights. Shaq on the Lakers. <clears throat> There's the NBA Hoops. Tops. Classic. Top Stadium Club. Upper Deck. Double Trouble. It's a nice Fleer Metal. Another Fleer Metal. Million Dollar Moments, Fleer Metal, and a ton of Future Shocks. All right, we got three more piles left. Let me get this in order, and we'll continue on. All right, here we go. Let's get into some vintage baseball. Here we go. We have a Gary Carter on top here, Vita Blue, Louis Aparicio, we've got a Bobby Bonds, Dick Allen. A second Dick Allen. We got a Clarence Gaston. Louis Aparicio again. Underneath there we have a Fergie Jenkins and Phil Nicro. We have an OPC Paul Monitor. Molitor, excuse me. We have a 1979 Pete Rose. We have a pretty beat up Pete Rose. And then we have a Reggie Sanders rookie. So there is a nice pile of vintage baseball. And as you can see, this collection that I got from the flea market was very diverse. Vintage basketball. This was a mixture of cards. Shaquille O'Neal cards, vintage baseball, tops, finest football, Ninja Turtle cards. And now we're going to get into some newer cards here. Um... So their, their collection was pretty much everything they were trying to sell. So it was like a mixture of maybe uh, cards that his father collected and then far, cards that he collected. So it was a nice mixture of new and old cards. So right here on top, we have a Bryce Harper Topps Chrome Prism. Underneath there, we have a Tyler Boyd Prism. Anthony Rizzo Prism. Jacob DeGrom, Topps Fire Flamethrowers. Mitchell Robinson, Optic Prism. And last but not least, we have Jalen Brown, who is currently in the NBA Finals, Optic. So very, very nice. Nice uh, mixture of cards, I have to admit. All right, here we go, the final pile. Uh, out of all the cards I went through, this is the final little bit of cards that I was blown away with that I wanted to showcase right here at the end of the video. Um, this has been an epic collection to go through. I have a major lead to a what would be another epic collection buy that I'm currently working on. I hope it works out. If it does, it will be the next series of videos. Uh, but I do have to go back and finish the series just before this one. This one kind of interrupted another series um, because this one was pretty epic to come across. So um, I just wanted to continue on, get through this flea market collection all in one shot and then move back to the other series. And then uh, hopefully I will have this collection that I'm, I'm working on right now. So uh, let's go. Right here in front, we got a Metal Universe, Deion Sanders. Underneath there, we have a Lawrence Taylor. Joe Montana, 1982 Record Breaker. We have a nice Tiki Barber. Underneath there, one of my favorite cards, Barry Sanders, Metal Universe with Wolverine in the back. Right here, we have a Rod Woodson Precious Metal Gems Metal Universe card. Super, super hard to find these kinds of cards. 
Underneath there, we have a Barry Sanders rookie card. Pro set. Then we have this card right here. I don't know too much about this skybox, David Robinson, but uh, it looks intense, as the card says. Nice gold. Very nice card. Then underneath there, we have a Bowman Ken Griffey Jr. rookie. Moving into a Johnny Unitas Pro action. There's a nice die cut Michael Jordan. We have a Willie McCovey 1969 National League, Hank Aaron, and Willie McCovey with Lee May. And last but not least, we have a Steve Young rookie card. <clears throat> this was epic to find towards the end of the collection. Super excited about it. So there you go, guys. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you smash the like button on this video. Leave a comment below. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.